Outdoor 2019. Uh, we're here at the So Ill stand. This is Dan. Hello. You are the man from So Ill. Uh, yes. Uh, to yeah. start with, I'm not familiar with the brand. That's okay. So yeah, tell no me problem. about the name to start with. So my brother and I started making climbing holds on the porch of our college rental house. Okay. And this was maybe like 12, 13 years ago. Yeah. And um, it was in Southern Illinois, so that's where the name comes uh, from. Okay. Uh, but it's also a play on words, so for like sick or cool or whatever. So oh, I've got you. I'd probably name the brand something else if I had to redo it, but uh, and now I've embraced it and I actually love it and it's working. So. Oh yeah, let's go with it. Yeah. So these shoes, we're gonna start seeing them at Crags in the UK, I think. They yeah. are in shops now. Why don't you talk us through this cool. range? So yeah, we're really excited about the UK market. Actually, on Instagram, it's the biggest, uh, all the messages we get, people asking, can they get the product? Where is it at? Yeah. Um, I think we have a lot of followers, uh, a lot of climbers watching us from the UK yeah. um, at the state, seeing what we're up to. And I'm really excited to finally be able to like have somewhere to go to, to send people because right now we're like, oh, we'll send you some. And we have some fans that we will airship, but yeah. um, now it'll be really neat to have the shoes out there and available across the world. Cool. So, yeah. So there's some amazing colors to start with, but it's Thank not you. all about color. Sure. Tell me what shoes we've got here. What? Yeah. So the idea for us, we're all we're USA made. Um, the rubber's actually made in the in the USA also, so okay. it's handmade, small production. Yeah. Um, a lot of people are like, oh, the shoes are interesting or they look crazy or whatever, but actually it's, it's different because the shoes are simple. Uh, we don't splatter paint them, we do simple colorways, we try to keep it um, just really clean and really modern. And so it's cool we respect the fashion side, but most importantly it's all about function. And I think the like why we do so well in the States and in Japan is because the shoes are actually like they're beautiful and they're simple and there's a color story. Yeah. But also they're really functional. So we started with function show so we work with the Japanese. Japanese okay. athletes come in and they design the shoes with us in California. Okay. And we've got uh, several ranges here. This range is our intermediate shoes. So this yep. is the street and this is the street LV. Uh, so LV is um, low volume, yep. so women's version. Um, these are two best sellers, and this is a cool intermediate shoe to get you um, started from like a beginner flat lasted shoe into something downturn. Yeah, or just maybe a comfier but precise shoe. So not always sure. intermediate, it's something that you don't necessarily want your feet to be squashed all day, yeah. but you need something that's accurate, yep. precise. It, it's downturn, but it's also it's a fairly soft shoe, yeah. so it's not, um, it's not super uncomfortable, so your feet aren't going to get tired moving from a beginner shoe. Okay, great. Yeah. So then we jump into advanced shoes, so we have an advanced um, stiff and advanced soft. Great. So this is free range, this is free range LV, and yeah. this is the free range Pro. Yeah. Uh, the Japanese came in and really helped us tone in these two models. The difference of the Pro is that the rubber actually butts up on the on the toe box, meaning the Rand. So here it's this on this model it overlaps. Yeah, you see that okay. difference? Yeah. And then the heel, we've redesigned the heel completely. This is more of a USA heel. This is more of a European and uh, Japanese heel, I would okay. say. So it's a it's a ball shape. So the cool thing about the Pro model in particular is that we split the outsole, and it's um, it's really stiff and really soft in the middle, right. and then stiff in the heel as okay. well. So this shoe has been incredibly popular with pre-sales already in uh, in Japan. Yeah. And in USA, it comes out in like a week. It should be available in the UK soon as well. So comfy, but with a bit of stiffness and support. Yeah, this is your really high-end shoe, so it's it's going to be pretty uh, pretty stiff, you yeah. know. So this is a it's a special weapon in your toolkit. It's not okay. this shoe is not for everyone. Right. Yeah. And then you had a soft version. This yeah. is made with this like yeah, comfy. It's, it's super comfortable. How do, I, how do you explain this stuff? This is actually this upper's uh, a material they put on the inside of work boots. Uh, so yeah. for like working all day, um, it really keeps your your foot soft and comfortable. It's almost like a sort of sponge lined. Mm -hmm. So right. a lot of the times, like um, in a soft shoe, your feet get tired easily. Yeah. So we use the material that's really really comfortable. Yeah. So that it's not gonna like make your foot tired over the course of the day. Got it. So this is called New Zero. The shoe is incredibly popular in the U.S. Um, it's our number one seller. It's really hard to get into this shoe. You actually have to open it up as much as possible. Yep. Um, and flatten the heel, right. slide your foot into the toe box as yeah. hard as you can, and in one motion, you pull it up and around your heel okay. onto your foot. So 
This shoe Bit of technique. Is, yeah, this shoe's really soft. There's a really small midsole yep. in here. Um, but you can see this shoe is is it's a really it's our softest shoe. Okay. So the pro version, uh, designed by Toshi in Japan, he came in and he made a couple updates. So same as free range pro, he split, split the outsole. Yeah. Um, and also, this one has uh, like a thin midsole. On this shoe, there's no midsole, so you can really see they wanted oh, yeah, it like really as soft bendy. as possible. Yeah. And this is like, this is classic when shoes are done in the US, this is the important style that's okay. hard to match. So, yeah, this shoe's incredibly soft, and it really, um, by splitting the outsole, it really pushes your foot into the toe box. Um, and then we, we updated rubber coverage as well, so you can see there's there's extra rubber up around here. Oh, yeah. yeah. And redesigned the heel as well. Oh, yeah, this ball heel. So, yeah, and okay. the colors, I think, are, I love them. Yeah, pretty nice. Yeah. So then, um, if you're more of a beginner, yes. and you want a shoe that isn't so aggressive and downturn, it's yeah. still good, are we looking at these? Yes, this is it. So this is really exciting for us. We actually did a collaboration um, with Jason Momoa. Okay. He is Aquaman in the most recent movies. Yeah. And um, he's a climber, so he's he's climbed all of his life. Yeah. Um, really legitimate, and we've met him through some friends, and um, he feels like family already. So we wanted to design a climbing shoe together. Yeah. So this is like a call out to his tattoo. Right, okay. And we wanted a shoe that was um, flat lasted yeah. and like pretty accessible, but we put a lot of tension in the heel also. So like an intermediate climber or advanced is still gonna really, really love this shoe. Yeah. Um, so yeah, flat lasted, comfortable, but there's a couple of technical components also. And we did the black and the pink. And we also did, I'll just show you these real quick, these chalk bags and chalk buckets that match his his collection well i could take that to the pub i think so I could, <laughs> it could be a handbag couldn't it it really that could. Is a smart thing so we did climbing shoes with him chalk bags yeah, and we okay. actually did some other outdoor gear as well and you've done a bit of toms as well just the, just yeah. the last thing so we so build back to the street yeah the high street shopping totally so we we build climbing walls for kids in El okay. uh, in the U.S. We have a nonprofit, so we try to introduce a lot of kids to climbing in different cities around um, around the U.S. It's called yeah. One Climb, and Tom's approached us and they wanted to make a donation to build a climbing wall in Los right. Angeles. Yeah. So they made a big donation, and through that, I met Blake, the founder of Tom's, who's a climber also. Okay. And we had some cool conversations as we were working through the giving model of. What can we do? Can we put sticky rubber on your famous Alpargata shoe? And this is the shoe that's that came what you've out done. Of it. Yeah. So these are like street shoes, but if you need to climb up a handy boulder in Illinois, you can. Yeah, sure. So it's um, yeah, just having a, a little bit more of a technical component. Yeah. Um, this is the dark matter rubber, the same rubber that's on our climbing shoes that we put on the cup sole, and just something uh, as a celebration of their donation and that give. And this is this this is a colorway of the um, the street also, like the street LV, and it has the classic Tom's um, yeah, colorway yeah. for the pull tabs and kind of a limited edition, okay. um, something a little bit interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Great, thanks so much for speaking to us today. Yeah, can I show I you one more shoe? Oh yeah, go on. All right, sorry. Yeah, one more. Okay, whoa. Cut. Just kidding. You love the colors, don't you? So, so this last is one. very interesting, but this is a collaboration we did with um, Topo Designs. Yep. Do you know this brand? Backpacks uh, and... Not really, not, not really. that familiar. That's okay. Yeah, so they're in the US, they make a lot of bags and they're really hip and they use a lot of primary colors and other colors as well. But we took some of their more popular um, Pantones that they use yep. and we created a colorway like the, um, uh, the shoe we did for Jason. So. This should be out here um, in spring. Yeah. And um, I think the people that are fans of their brand are really gonna enjoy this one. So hopefully we're gonna start seeing these shoes at the Crag in the UK. Yeah, that'd be great. Thanks for coming to speak to us. Thank you.